signs. How you guys doing? Welcome in. This is your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus reading for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is Lionsgate, August 8th and 9th, the strongest energies of Lionsgate, which is really, um, in this experience this year, is really about abundance. Choosing your path about moving toward what you should be doing on this planet, your mission, your life's work, okay? And uh, doing that through this Lionsgate time period is a really powerful manifesting period because Leo is about being, being out front, right? Being big. And um, it's fire energy. It's passionate energy. It's creative energy. So think about if you have a side hustle that you want to build, if you're writing a book, if you want a YouTube channel, whatever it is, all right, so thanks for all the likes, subscri subscribes, and shares. And um, just feel free to swap around the characters, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. The readings are not sequential, although in the day when I do the air, fire, earth, water, sometimes I notice that they are connected. So because my intention is, what's the strongest message that needs to come through? So don't try to shoehorn yourself into every reading. But if this doesn't resonate for you, check out your moon, rising, or Venus reading, okay? I've also done weekly readings for you guys for each zodiac if you want more specificity check out the titles of those to see if they might resonate okay so earth sign for you all that glitters <laughs> all that glitters dude um that's what i'm talking about with abundance Ooh, soulmates i love that round and round hmm okay so this is a a pattern with soulmates that the money situation is is uh, top of mind. I feel like that might be something, because we're talking about building abundance, building abundance with a soulmate that is going to be um, somebody who helps you elevate, somebody who helps you um, when we're in, as in ascension right now, when we're in this time period of getting more spiritual, being more connected, this, this soulmate is connected to your life work. Okay, that's what's going to help you ascend, is to be with a soulmate that's connected to your life work, life's work. Hmm, that's interesting. So let's see here. You could be resisting that. Okay, you could be resisting that idea. Let's see. What's going on for Earth sign? What is going on with my phone over there? Resisting, uh, something about resistance. All right, let's see what's going on. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, here we go. I've seen the King of, King of Pentacles a lot today. Four of Wands. Four of Wands, Ace of Cups, a new be and there's the King of Pentacles. New beginning with someone. Um, new love coming in. Soulmate love. Six of Swords. Temperance could be with a fire sign. Tower. Wow. Okay, hold on. Quiet, Mary Jo. Somebody, yeah, we're not holding on anymore. Woof. Oh, my word. Capricorn energy here. Okay. Okay. You got the tower and the devil. The cool part about that, <laughs> the cool part about this is something is getting blown up. A karmic energy is getting blown up to make way for new love, new relationship, okay, that makes you feel stable. All right, something that's unstable is getting blown up. I feel like uh, somebody has left your life, could be a Sag, somebody has left your life, or you could feel like leaving this life because you're going toward the soulmate that is has to do with your work, okay? Um, tower energy happens when somebody leaves your life, the tower happens. I feel like um, this person Empress, Knight of Cups, this is re somebody uh, you really love or somebody who loves you a lot, all right, and that might be over. Seven of Wands, they're resisting you. They're resisting you coming toward them, okay, because there's karmic energy with this. For others of you, you could be stuck in a situation, staying in a situation the, uh, with a person who refuses to move forward, all right? They just want to stand still. Sorry, my legs are falling asleep. They want to stand still in something 
They don't wish to move forward. You know your life is about moving forward, okay? And so there's a new relationship coming online here. I, lo I kind of like that the Tower and Ten of Swords are here because it's an end to a karmic situation that was stuck. All right, and very much an end to, to this karmic situation that was stuck. What is this Empress here? Page of Swords, Justice, oh, Page of Cups. Uh, this person you could have children with, they could have, um, they could be asking you for a divorce. Okay, this Empress could be a current partner asking for divorce. All right, there's two children involved. They learn something, the Page of Swords, they've been spying on you. What's this Sag energy here, this Temperance energy? Hierophant. Ace of Wands, this is the new person. Okay, Hierophant, Ace of Wands, Fool. Uh, I feel like you're going to take a leap of faith with this new person. I feel like um, Tower energy here. Blowing apart a current situation. That's going to surprise you. I feel like the Empress is going to be asking for a divorce. Capricorn, or you're going through it right now. They've learned some new information, possibly about the current the current or the new partner that you're coming together with. This is about really expanding your creativity into the world. Really new, good stuff. Okay, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Four of Wands. This person here could be a Sag, is somebody who um, is making decisions in their own life. They could be they could be jumping on a new path. All right, I feel like this. then this empress gets blown up out of your life. They've been resisting any movement forward. And so any kind of uh, stuck energy needs to end. No more stuck energy. No more stuckness. Right, Knight of Swords. Time to move on. Time to move forward. Lion's Gate, strength, energy here. Yes, Three of Swords. So something is going to end. Queen of Wands. Page of Pentacles, one more please, Moon. So um, for some of you, this Sag energy, this Sag Aries Leo fire sign energy could um, have been moved, could move, have moved on from you and is on a new path toward their, um, toward their work. Um, they could have moved on because you were in a situation you refused to move to go forward. Now this person is asking for divorce and you're like, oh, holy shit, that person's gone now. Okay, but I feel like um, you are going to need to be moving forward yourself regardless. I feel like you could feel sad about the loss of this Sag, but I feel like you need to move forward regardless of whether you're with somebody or not. In fact, it might have been this Sag's job to get out of the way here so you can move forward and not go right into another relationship. That might have been your pattern in the past to jump right into the relationship. Okay, I feel like they blew up, they, the tower energy got them moving on their path. The stuck energy of staying in connection with you was keeping them from their path. Okay, and so now you're in a relationship with somebody who resists moving forward and that gets blown up. They might ask for divorce. They might ask for um, justice to happen so that they can move forward in their life. And you see that you're the one that's stuck. You need to be, the, you need to be moving forward with passion, Queen of Wands, okay? Taking good care of yourself, learning new things. You might, for, uh, for some of you, there might be some kind of shift in your career because all that glitters, we're talking about with a soulmate, your work is, your work, your mission, what's going to change your life is about changing your work too. Like there's something to do with this person's energy or creativity that helps you get on your path. Okay, and ends a stuck situation. You could have been in a situation that was just for money, like your job or something like that that was just for money, and that no longer is going to serve your mission. Okay, you gotta you got to move forward in your mission. I feel like there's some fear around that because you're going to have to learn something new. All right, this person that has walked away, the Sag energy that has left you, um... Inspire, is inspiring you though to change your situation and move towards something toward work that is going to be uplifting and not only that but I feel like it's a 
did we get this? I feel like strength, this is part of the Lion's Gate piece that you become more creative about your work or that your path, your mission is a more creative one than what you're doing right now. Okay, they're inspiring you. Okay, all right, let's see where we go here, Earth Sign. Um, wow, this is a lot of blow up, but I like the fact that um, there's something that needs to end that is too stuck and the tower needed to sweep it away. What's coming is something really good and healthy, some, a new love coming in, a new inspiration. This person is a committed relationship in your life and they are an inspiration. Okay, they're definitely um, somebody who is a creative force. Somebody wants to upend institutions, upend the status quo, moving forward in their spiritual path. This person has inspired you, has inspired the situation. All right. Okay, Earth sign. We're going to do, uh, we're going to go further down the road with this, see where we go, see how this unfolds. Link is below for you, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I'll see you on the other side.